Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Today we'll be talking about another very interesting and very simple topic that is artificial ventilation and ventilator. Now first of all, let us understand what is ventilation. Students, we all know that we breathe in and we breathe out. That is, we inhale air and we exhale air. Now, this particular process is called as ventilation. Yes? Now, what do we mean by artificial ventilation? When this process, any person is not able to do himself or herself, then they need to be provided with certain external help so that their respiration does not stop. Now, that will be called as artificial ventilation or artificial respiration. Now, let us take a look. It is used to induce breathing when natural respiration ceases or falters in a person. So, sometimes due to certain medical conditions, a person may stop breathing or the breathing might become very, very weak. In such cases, that patient has to be provided with artificial ventilation. Now, students, Proper and quick use of artificial ventilation can prevent death due to drowning, choking, suffocation, electric shock, etc. To put it simply, it is a machine that supports breathing. Now students, this is mainly used during surgery, treatment for serious lung diseases or failure of normal breathing. For example students, if a person is having a major surgery, so obviously the patient would be under the influence of anesthesia. In such cases, the patient is not able to breathe on his own. So, this ventilator is used during the duration of the surgery. Also, in many cases, due to very serious lung diseases or in some cases, there is also failure of normal breathing. Again, ventilators are used. Moving on students, they are mainly used as a part of life support system in hospitals. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.